fans to Sweet Erickson Gymnasium for today's neutral site contest between two Region 18 opponents in a non-conference battle today. The Cardinals from North Idaho and the Spartans from Colorado Northwest. From the campus of beautiful Casper College, we will start with the visitors on the scoreboard, which will be the Cardinals from North Idaho. North Idaho coached by Corey Simons in year 18 from Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. The Cardinals come in with a 6-2 record, including winning six games in a row with a win yesterday over Frank Phillips College. The Cardinals shot 18 of 20 from the free throw line yesterday, which was a big key in their victory as they trailed most of the way. They took the lead back with about five minutes left and did not look back in that victory. Starting for the Cardinals today, a six foot five inch freshman guard from Federal Way, Washington, number two, Vaughn Weems. Weems comes in averaging 10.7 points a game, had 11 points and seven rebounds off the bench last night. At another guard, six foot two inch sophomore from Pilap, Washington, number three, Kobe Campbell. Campbell comes in averaging 9.9 .9 points a game and is committed to Troy University to continue his playing career after this season. At a forward position, six foot seven inch sophomore from Moses Lake, Washington, number five, Kyle Karstetter. Karstetter comes in averaging 3.6 points per game. Another guard, six foot freshman from Spokane Valley, Washington, number 10, Tayshawn Colvin. Colvin comes in averaging eight points a game. And the fifth starter, a six foot six inch freshman from Porterville, California, number 12, Dane Oddsather. Oddsather comes in averaging four points per game. Now for the Spartans from Colorado Northwest, coached by Ben Crookshank from Rangeley, Colorado. The Spartans come in at 5-5 five and five after a loss last night to Casper College here, the hosts. Starting for the Spartans, number one, A.J. Creech, a 5'10 inch sophomore guard from Augusta, Georgia. Creech averages 7.6 points per game. Number two, a 6'1 inch freshman guard from Kaysville, Utah, Cole Johnson. Johnson, the leading scorer for the Spartans, comes in averaging 15.8 points per game. He had 14 points and nine rebounds last night. And we are going to take a quick break here for the national anthem. Right, and the other starters for the Spartans from Colorado Northwest, a uh, six foot six inch freshman forward from Buenos Aires, Argentina, number 11, Santiago Casarin. Casarin comes in averaging 6.9 points per game. A six foot eight inch freshman center from Pocatello, Idaho, number 12, Mason Mickelson. Mickelson comes in averaging 5.6 and 4.9 rebounds per game. And the final starter for the Spartans, number 22, Tyler Christensen, a six foot four inch forward from Eagle Mountain, Utah. Christensen comes in averaging 17.3 points per game. 
So last night, first for the Cardinals, again, they lost 78 to 53. The struggle was from the three-point line as they only shot it from 20%. Colorado Northwestern, a team that comes in sixth in the country in three-point attempts. They come in shooting almost 33 point shots a game. You can live and die by the three-point shot, and last night they really struggled shooting it. We will see if those attempts change tonight and start to go in, as this will be Colorado Northwest's second game here on the Sweet Erickson Gymnasium floor. On the other side, North Idaho again trailed for about 35 minutes last night. They took the lead with about five minutes left and never looked back. On the opposite side, a team that really struggles shooting from the three-point line. They shoot it at just 29.5% from the three, but last night they did get hot, and especially in the second half where they made six of their nine three-point attempts, and that was really the difference in their win over Frank Phillips College. A couple of guys to keep an eye on today. First for the North Idaho Cardinals. A couple of guys coming off of the bench that can really bring a lot of impact. Number zero, Taryn Johnson, a six foot seven inch sophomore guard forward from Prairie, Grand Prairie, Texas. Comes in averaging 12.5 points per game. He's been injured and so they are working him back and limiting his minutes. But he is a guy that when he catches the ball in the post and can get to that right shoulder, he is a load to try to stay in front of. On the other side, we already talked a little bit about Cole Johnson, number two, the six foot one inch freshman guard from Utah. Comes in averaging just under 16 points a game. Last night, 14 points and nine rebounds for the sophomore in the loss against Casper College. And we are just about ready to tip things off here from Sweet Erickson Gymnasium on the beautiful campus of Casper College. This neutral site matchup again between two Region 18 opponents. This will not count as a conference game, even though both teams are in the same conference. They will see each other again in mid-January and again in mid-February for their actual conference home and home games. And we are underway. Colorado Northwest, it'll be interesting to see. They played the late game last night. They tipped at 7.30, finished about 9.30, and now they're playing the early game as that lob goes up to Skalski, and we're going to get an early foul here. Foul's going to go on number 12, Mason Mickelson. It's going to be his first, the team's first, as North Idaho came out with a lob play to start the game. But again, Colorado Northwest played the late game last night. They finished about 9.30 up this morning for a shoot around and back at it again. And the thing is, is that Colorado Northwest only has nine players on their roster right now. Only four guys on the bench, so we'll see if uh, attrition becomes a little bit of a problem for the Spartans as this game goes on. Skalski misses his first free throw. Second free throw is good for Skalski. I'm gonna have to go back through the North Idaho starting lineup because it is much different than the list that I had. I do see Kobe Campbell out there on the field. Kyle Karstetter is also out there. Tayshawn Colvin, um, as well as number 11, Dante Sawyer, a six foot five inch sophomore guard from San Francisco. And the aforementioned Jalen Skalski, the six eight sophomore from Rath Drum, Idaho. Skalski's been the best player for his team the last couple of days as AJ Creech is on the board for Colorado Northwest and Colorado Northwest takes a two to one lead. Again, Skalski, his last couple of times out, 22 points last night in the game, 24 and seven last week against Western Wyoming. A guy that was coming off the bench late last week. As Skalski makes his move, or I'm sorry, that's Kyle Karstetter makes his move to the basket and he's fouled. Ball's gonna go on number 12, Mason Mickelson. It's gonna be his second and the team's second. So you can already get a good feel for what North Idaho wants to do offensively. They're trying to throw the ball into the post. Karstetter with the mismatch there. Skalski with the back pick lob earlier. First free throw for Karstetter is good. Number 20, Mitch Jepson checking in for the first time for the uh, Colorado Northwest Spartans. The six foot six inch freshman hails from Centerville, Utah comes in averaging eight points per game off the bench as Karstetter's second free throw is good. We talked in the opening about North Idaho only shooting 29.5% from the free throw line, or I'm sorry, from the three point line, but they did shoot it a little bit better in the second half, but you can tell a team that really wants to attack the basket either off of the dribble or throwing it into the post as this three ball by Cole Johnson is no good and Karstetter clears for North Idaho.
Tayshawn Colvin looks in at Karstetter. The double comes this time. Back out to Colvin. Colvin fires a three ball, and it's off the heel. And it'll be Colorado Northwest basketball as Tyler Christensen clears for the Spartans. Three ball here by Kasarin is good. And Colorado Northwest out to a 5-3 to three lead. And again, just like that, you can get an idea of what the Spartans are trying to do offensively. A team that likes to shoot a lot of threes. They come in sixth in the country in three-point shot attempts. They were off the mark last night, especially in the second half against Casper College, but a team very capable of scoring it at a high level. A team that comes in averaging 80 points per game. And a North Idaho team that comes in averaging 90 points a game as Karstetter misses the three. Rebound out of bounds, and it's going to stay with North Idaho as now they're going to get a fourth opportunity on this possession. Colorado Northwestern, not a ton of size in this front line, especially with Mickelson now down to foul trouble. Mickelson, the 6'8 freshman with his second foul. As this is Kobe Campbell, the 6'2-inch sophomore with his first basket of the game to tie things up at five. Again, Mickelson comes in at 6'8". Nobody else over 6'6 for the Spartans. And this North Idaho team is big. As there's a kick out for a three ball that misses short and Jalen Skalski clears for the Cardinals. But again, a great look at what the, what the Spartans are gonna try to do offensively there is they had an open look at a layup but decided to kick it out for a three ball instead that didn't fall. And this is Kobe Campbell who misses his little runner. And we continue to stay deadlocked at five. Three minutes in here from Sweet Erickson Gymnasium at Casper College for this neutral site matchup between the Spartans and the Cardinals. Two Region 18 opponents here. Looked like a little bit of a push off there and we're gonna get a foul called. It's gonna be Tayshawn Colvin picking up his first foul and the team's first foul of the game. Another issue that Colorado Northwest had last night was from this very free throw line. A team that comes in shooting at just 57% on the field, which is good for 180th in the country. So you can tell that they already have issues, but they go 6 of 12 from the free throw line last night as Christensen's first free throw is good. Second free throw from Christensen is also good. And the Spartans take a 7-5 lead here still early in this neutral site basketball game. Kobe Campbell, the lefty, has no problem stepping back and firing that three ball as he misses short. He's the one guy on the team that I think the team feels really confident. He and Austin Johnson shooting that three ball as he tried to step back and it just missed a little short. And this steal here by Colvin, and Colvin tries to take it coast to coast, and he's fouled on the way up. Ball's gonna go on Santiago Casarin. It's gonna be his first, the team's third, and it's gonna send Tayshawn Colvin to the free throw line. Colvin, the six foot freshman from Spokane Valley, Washington, shoots it at 86% from the free throw line. That's his first free throw, rolls all the way around, touches every piece of it, does not fall. Entering for the Spartans, now number 13, Jude Ballstead, a six foot two inch freshman guard from Midway, Utah. Ballstead comes in averaging 11 points per game off the bench for the Spartans so far this year. Colvin's second free throw is up and it is good. As he is now on the board and Taron Johnson now enters for the Cardinals. Johnson's a six foot seven inch sophomore from Grand Prairie, Texas again, as I mentioned in the pregame. 12.4 points per game, battling his way back from injury as North Idaho comes into a 2-3 zone here, which is about what they did yesterday when Johnson checked in. The zone really struggled yesterday against Frank Phillips. Frank Phillips got a couple of really good looks against it and knocked him down. And North Idaho didn't stay in the 2-3 zone for too long yesterday. But it looks as though Coach Simons is okay with sticking with it and going to give it a go here today as Colorado Northwest with a 7-6 lead early here from Sweet Erickson Gymnasium. Johnson catches, puts it on the deck, and a great swipe there by A.J. Creech for the steal. And the Spartans now are on the attack the other way. 
Cole Johnson with a great take. He takes some contact, flips it up, and it is in. Ball's going to go on Dante Sawyer. It's going to be Sawyer's first, the team's second. And Cole Johnson is now on the board for the Spartans. The second leading scorer for the Spartans comes in averaging 15.8 points per game. Free throw by Johnson is good. Again, Johnson had 14 points, nine rebounds last night for the Spartans in their losing effort to Casper College. But he puts the Spartans up 10 to six today against North Idaho. North Idaho got out to a, a rather slow start also yesterday. Kind of wonder if that travel a little bit had something to do with it as Jalen Skalski knocks down the jumper. But off to, uh, I wouldn't say a terribly slow start here, but not quite to the level of what we've expected from the Cardinals in the couple of games that we've seen them so far this year. As Vaughn Weems is going to check in for the Cardinals. Weems, the six foot five inch freshman from Federal Way, Washington, comes in averaging 11 points per game. Also on the other side, a return for Tyler Christensen, the six foot four inch forward from Eagle Mountain, Utah, back in for the Spartans. Three ball here by Jepson, misses way long, and Vaughn Weems clears for the Cardinals. Campbell thought about the three ball, then gets to his strong left hand, but then comes back to the right, and Kobe Campbell on the board with four points early to tie things at 10. Campbell, a guy that's very capable of shooting the three ball, as this is Jude Ballstead who hits the three. Campbell, a guy very capable of shooting the three ball, especially from that corner spot. Gives a little shot fake and is able to drive it in. And again, it, it goes back to what we've been talking about in these two different styles of basketball. North Idaho, you can tell, really wants to try to drive the ball to the basket, throw the ball into the post. Campbell passes on a three and wants to drive it. And then at the other end, you get a good look from Ballstead, who just fires away and buries the three ball for his team. Tough shot there by Sawyer that doesn't go. And the Spartans clear with the chance to add on to this three-point lead. North Idaho still in the 2-3 the zone. They put Taryn Johnson in the middle, Vaughn Weems and Skalski on either wing. As this three ball by Christensen is pure. And he now has five points and opens the lead up to six. We talked already about the 2-3 zone really having a tough time against Frank Phillips yesterday. Frank Phillips scored in three of the four possessions that North Idaho was in it offensive or defensively, as this three ball is no good. And we're seeing a similar result so far today from Colorado Northwest. Northwest gotten a couple of really good looks at the three ball and they buried two in a row to open up to a six point advantage. The ball continues to swing and they're gonna get a traveling violation on June Ballstead who got stuck deciding whether he wanted to shoot it or dribble it. And we have our first media timeout here from Sweet Erickson Gymnasium. 13.29 left on the clock. Colorado Northwest out to a 16 to 10 lead over North Idaho on the Casper College Network. Hey coach, so uh, I've been with you for a couple weeks. What's your philosophy on player development? Yeah, great question. I mean, it really boils down to two things. Imagination and creativity. Welcome back, fans, to Sweet Erickson Gymnasium. This neutral site competition between the North Idaho Cardinals and the Colorado Northwestern Spartans. Colorado Northwest out to a 16 to 10 lead, just over six and a half minutes into this basketball game. As Court Coach Simons from Colorado or from North Idaho implored his guys to sit down and defend during that timeout. Really wanted to get guys down and especially getting out on the three-point shot as Colorado Northwestern again comes in shooting almost 33 point shots a game, good for sixth in the country. And they have shown it so far as they have knocked down one, two, three of them so far in the first uh, six and a half minutes of basketball here. 
Austin Johnson checked in for North Idaho. Johnson, the six foot four inch sophomore from Oakland, misses that three a little bit long, and the ball is out of bounds to the Spartans. I think we've introduced everybody that has been into the game so far for the Spartans here. On the floor right now, we've got Ballstead. This is Johnson. Christensen catches it on the wing. It's Jepson on the high post, and it is Mickelson back in on the low post. Mickelson with two fouls. Coach Cruikshank electing to go with uh, Mickelson, the six foot eight inch freshman from Pocatello, Idaho here, even with his two fouls. Trusting the young big man to stay out of trouble and hope with the rebounding side of things, as it has been a problem so far for the Spartans. Johnson looking to make a move as the shot clock's down to five. Uh, Campbell with a really good defensive effort there, and then Campbell with the rebound for the Cardinals as they look to run. Austin and Taryn Johnson in the high ball screen, and it goes back to Campbell. Campbell's going to flip it up with the left hand, and it's no good. But Roosevelt Brown's going to get a foul, and that's going to be on Cole Johnson. Foul's going to be Johnson's first and the team's fourth and it's going to send Kobe Campbell to the free throw line. Campbell comes in averaging just under 10 points a game, the six foot two inch sophomore guard from Washington who is committed to play at Troy next year. Comes in as a 69% free throw shooter as his first free throw is up and it is good. Campbell now with five points on the game and has cut the lead down to five. Second free throw is up and also good. Campbell with six on the game now. And it looks like North Idaho now is going back into their man-to-man -man defensively. Vaughn Weems on the ball. Tyler Christensen tries to drive it to the left and gets cut off. This length from this North Idaho team that's in the game right now is really tough. Vaughn Weems, the six foot six inch, or six foot five inch freshman with his long arms on the ball. And then Austin Johnson, another guy that comes in off the bench, a six four guard with long arms and makes it difficult to try to drive against as we saw just right there for Colorado Northwestern. Looks like uh, North Idaho trying to find a mismatch in the post. That time they were trying to go with Vaughn Weems. Now they're going into Taron Johnson. Taron Johnson, the guy that looks like should be playing linebacker in the NFL as he goes to his right shoulder and gets two. Phenomenal athlete, a great catch there, and anytime he can get to his right shoulder and be, you use that little left-hand baby hook, he is tough to guard. Ballstead got stuck there, but kicked it out, find Cole Johnson. And this is around to Christensen. Christensen with a little bit of runner in the lane, and it's good. Tyler Christensen now with seven points on the game. The leading scorer for the Spartans, the six foot four inch freshman from Eagle Mountain, Utah. And he opens the lead up to four for the Spartans. Campbell misses that three ball short and a defensive rebound by Jepson. And now the Spartans look to try to get out and run. Johnson was looking into Mickelson who had posted up, but the ball gets kicked out of bounds and it's going to stay with the Spartans. AJ Creech and Santiago Casarin both check back in for the Spartans. A little over 11 minutes to go here in the first half between the North Idaho Cardinals and the Colorado Northwestern Spartans. As we're gonna get a tough foul called here. Foul's gonna go against Christensen. It's gonna be Christensen's first for kind of being in the wrong place at the wrong time as he's laying on the floor as Vaughn Weems trips over the top of him. But it's his first foul of the game, the team's fifth. And North Idaho with the chance to chip into this four point lead. Looking for Austin, or I'm sorry, that's uh, Dante Sawyer in the post. Now back out to Johnson. Johnson looks to drive it to the right side, and he steps on the baseline, and it's going to be a turnover and back to Colorado Northwest. North Idaho just kind of looks out of sorts at times on the offensive side of the floor when they're trying to figure out what they want to do offensively. A team that doesn't shoot it great from the three-point line and causes them to have to find different ways to score the basketball inside the three-point line, which is not always easy. 
But if you can throw it into that guy right there, it makes it a lot easier as Taron Johnson catches and picks up a foul. And Mickelson's going to get his third. Ben Cruikshank's going to have to go to the bench now. And you got to assume that Mickelson now with three fouls is probably going to be sitting out for at least the next ten and a half minutes here. Which puts a lot of pressure on this Spartans team. Again, a team that's not very big physically, but also not very big team-wise as they only have nine players and seven of them have seen the floor so far. Dante Sawyer misses his first one, gets his offensive rebound, and the putback, he is fouled. Foul's going to go on Cole Johnson. It's going to be Johnson's second. It's going to send Sawyer to the free throw line. Sawyer, the leading scorer for the Cardinals, comes in averaging 13.6 points per game. He gets his first point of this game. Had 15 points last night in the win over North, I'm sorry, over Frank Phillips, 86 to 72. Second free throw is up and good for Sawyer. Lead cut to two, Colorado Northwest 18 to 16. Still early on from Sweet Erickson Gymnasium. Just about to the halfway point of the first half. AJ Creech looks to attack and now this is Cole Johnson. Johnson back to his left and fires the three ball that misses a little bit long and Taron Johnson gets a big paw on it and deflects it to himself. Cole Johnson, a guy that comes in making one out of every three-point attempts that he fires, and so feels pretty confident shooting that thing, and I think his teammates do as well, as Austin Johnson with a nice little kiss off the glass from 15 feet, and we are a tied basketball game here at Casper College. Tyler Christensen looks to use a ball screen. Ball gets deflected away by... Taron Johnson, and then Taron Johnson threw it right back. This is Cole Johnson. Cole Johnson kicks it in, and then comes back out to Creech. Creech looking to drive it, and he finds Cole Johnson in the corner. Johnson misses that one to the left, and Austin Johnson clears for North Idaho. Attack there by Dante Sawyer is going to get him to the free throw line. Foul is going to go on Tyler Christensen. And now Christensen is going to pick up his second foul. Eighth team foul. We're going to have free throws when we come back from Sweet Erickson Gymnasium on the beautiful campus at Casper College. We've got a tie game between North Idaho and Colorado Northwestern on the Casper College Network. We have a really competitive group this year. Sometimes a little too competitive. And there's this guy on our team, Ethan. He takes it a little too far, but he never loses. Ready, go! I do this. I ain't never lost. I ain't never lost. I do this. It don't even matter what that is. I got game right here. In this game. In this game. Tell him he missed too. In that game. I do this. I ain't never lost. I never lost. I never lost. Uh, I never lost. I never lost. Welcome back, fans. Sweet Erickson Gymnasium on the beautiful campus at Casper College. Leading the way so far for Colorado Northwest, Tyler Christensen with seven points. Three from Jude Ballstead, three from Santiago Casarin, three from Cole Johnson, and two from A.J. Creech. On the other side for North Idaho, Kobe Campbell leading the way with six, and then two for Taron Johnson, two for Austin Johnson, two for Kyle Karstetter, two for Dante Sawyer, three for Jalen Skalski, and one for Tayshawn Colvin. The big thing to keep an eye on right now, again, is that Colorado Northwestern just picked up their eighth team foul. Tyler Christensen with two fouls, Mason Mickelson with three, and Cole Johnson with two for the Spartans, who again only have four players sitting on their bench with them, as the first free throw is up and good for Sawyer. Dante Sawyer, the six foot five inch sophomore from San Francisco, comes in shooting at 83% from the free throw line. As his second free throw is up and good as well. Sawyer with four points all from the free throw line and opens up a two point lead for North Idaho, something that they did not get to boast much of the game last night against Frank Phillips until the last five minutes of play when they were able to pull away 
Three ball here from Christensen, misses long. And this is Austin Johnson with the defensive rebound for North Idaho. Johnson's gonna try to go coast to coast and A.J. Creech is gonna pick up his first foul. So Johnson was on his way up and we're gonna get a quick 30 second timeout. And we're gonna stay with you here just through this 30 second timeout as Colorado Northwest calls back to back timeout. So they called a full timeout about 30 seconds ago and now they're calling a 30 second timeout here in the process. North Idaho with a 20 to 18 lead as Austin Johnson will head to the free throw line when he comes back. Austin Johnson, the guy that scored 18 points last night but who hit two really, really big threes for the Cardinals last night late in that game as the game was still kind of in question. He hit one that really kind of put them up and then another one that put the dagger into Frank Phillips College and led North Idaho to their sixth win in a row. A team that's won uh, six of their eight games so far, including six in a row. And Austin Johnson will head to the free throw line for his first attempt. Free throw is good for Johnson. He's got three points on the game. Johnson comes in shooting 70% from the free throw line as he gives a little fake high five to his two teammates that are not there. And the second free throw is good for Johnson. Defensively, North Idaho now in a 2-2-1, a looks like three quarters court press as they try to trap it there, but Colorado Northwest has no problem getting the ball to the middle and breaking it. Turnovers were an issue for the Spartans last night. They turned it over 18 times against Casper College as this three ball is long from Ballstead and Vaughn Weems clears and the Cardinals want to run. Skalski contemplated it. He's capable of shooting the three ball, but he got a little bit too quick right there and turns it over with a traveling violation. Skalski, a guy that's very capable of, of handling the ball from out there, even at six foot eight. He can score it from the inside, he can score it from the outside. The shot fake just got a little bit quick for him. And it'll be Colorado Northwest basketball. The 2 2 1 defensively there is now turned into man to man as Coach Simmons continues to mix his defenses up. Northwest looking for the back cut there, and then eventually the ball is thrown away by Ballstead as he throws it into the third row of the stands. Luckily, none of the nine people in attendance were hurt on that pass. 22-18, North Idaho with a lead over Colorado Northwestern. Just under eight minutes left here to go in the first half of basketball. Two Region 18 teams playing in a non-conference contest. Not ideal because you know that both of these teams want to play against, are going to play each other twice or more this season as Austin Johnson is going to get called for an offensive foul and the ball is going to head the other way. Cole Johnson going to check back in for the Spartans. But again, not ideal to see a team from your region in non-conference play. Unfortunately, this was the way that it worked out for both of these teams and I'm sure that they're just glad to have a basketball game to play as they look to grow and continue to get better as the season continues. Middle of that zone is the way to beat it and Santiago Casarin was able to find that spot as he hits Jepson on the run. And on Jepson's layup attempt, he is fouled. And he's gonna head to the free throw line. Foul's gonna be on Kyle Karstetter. It's gonna be his first, the team's fourth. And it's gonna send Mitch Jepson to the free throw line. Jepson, the six foot six inch forward from Centerville, Utah, comes into shooting just 32% from the line as he misses the front one of his two. You might look at the foul count and think that there's a bit of a discrepancy, nine to four in North Idaho's favor, but really the, the style of play leads a lot to that. Colorado Northwest, a team as Jepson hits his second free throw. Colorado Northwest, a team that likes to shoot the three ball, a team that doesn't initiate a lot of contact because of the way that they play and shoot the basketball. North Idaho, the exact opposite. They try to throw the ball into the post. They try to drive it. It's a great pass there from Sawyer to Karstetter, and Karstetter gets the dunk as he's got four points on the game. A team that likes to shoot the three ball is never going to uh, get as many fouls called for them in their favor against the other team as a team that likes to drive it to the basket like a team like North Idaho does, which leads to a discrepancy. 
as we're seeing so far in the first half here. Cole Johnson fires a three ball, misses it to the right, but a great crash by Mitch Jepson. Jepson goes back up and he misses it and they're gonna get Austin Johnson for his second foul. I don't think Johnson agrees, but I think Coach Simmons over there telling him that if he would have blocked out the first time, then it wouldn't have been a foul. And I think now Johnson is probably agreeing with him. Jepson back to the free throw line as his first free throw is up and it's good. Taryn Johnson, Kobe Campbell, and Tayshawn Colvin return for the Cardinals. Cole Johnson out there making sure that everybody for the Spartans is matched up accordingly. As Jepson's second free throw is also good. Jepson now with three points on the game, all from the free throw line. And the lead is three in North Idaho's favor. Campbell's going to use the ball screen from Johnson. Cole Johnson living dangerously going underneath that thing as Kobe Johnson has shown that he, or Kobe Campbell has shown an ability to shoot the three ball. Ball is going to be on Santiago Casar and it's going to be his second. And now uh, we're going to have free throws when we come back from Casper College. 6.35 left to go. North Idaho 24, Colorado Northwestern 21 on the Casper College Network. At Casper College, we're a hustle culture. We hustle for everything. Everything! <laughs> hustle! to know that they'll be accepted there's a lot of opportunities here and there there'll be a lot of one-on-one -on -one with the teacher you'll get a lot more personal experience and there's a lot of opportunities through Casper College just not just with getting a degree but also like outside work and extracurricular stuff welcome back fans sweet Erickson gymnasium for this neutral site Region 18 matchup, but not considered a conference game between North Idaho and Colorado Northwestern. North Idaho out to a 24 to 21 lead. So far for the leaders, Dante Sawyer with four points, Kobe Campbell with six, Austin Johnson four, Kyle Karstetter four, um, Dante Sawyer four, Jalen Skalski three, Tayshawn Colvin one, and Taryn Johnson two, as Jalen Skalski heads to the free throw line for the Cardinals. And his first one is off the back rim and out. For the Spartans, two points for A.J. Creech, three for Cole Johnson, three for Kassarin, three for Jude Ballstead, three for Jepson, seven for Tyler Christensen. Hopefully adds up to make 21. As Skalski's second free throw is good, and now he has four on the game. North Idaho is going to be in double bonus for the next six and a half minutes of this first half. And the Spartans continue to deal with some foul trouble now. Mickelson with three. John, Cole Johnson with two, Santiago Casarin with two, and Tyler Christensen with two. Again with a very shallow bench tonight, and that foul is going to go against Campbell, and it's going to be his first, the team's sixth, and it's going to send A.J. Creech to the free throw line for the first time today. Creech, the five foot 10 inch sophomore guard from Augusta, Georgia, comes in shooting 67% from the free throw line as his first one is up and good. Second free throw by Creech is equally as pure, and Creech up to four points on the game as Tyler Christensen returns for Creech after Creech has cut the lead down to two in North Idaho's favor. Kobe Campbell's going to facilitate here for the Cardinals as he's going to run offense through Tayshawn Colvin. Colvin's looking to use a ball screen, but is unable to. Skalski now catches at the top and a round of Vaughn Weems. They look to throw it in, this is going to be Johnson, and Johnson's trying to get to that right shoulder again as he does, this time he's a little bit long and the rebound goes to Christensen, and the Spartans are gonna run. Christensen tried to throw a bounce pass between two guys to Johnson, it got deflected, and Vaughn Weems returning the other way as Vaughn Weems goes up and he's fouled on the way up. 
Ball's going to be on Kassarian. It's going to be his third. Vaughn Weems, the crafty lefty, had just a little bit of a Euro step that got that ball shifted into his left hand and caused Kassarin to contact the arm on the shot as the first free throw by Weems is flat and misses short. North Idaho, a team that we saw last night, able to flip the switch on in the last five minutes of that game against Frank Phillips as this one's no good as well. A, a team very capable of scoring the ball at a high rate in a very short amount of time, which we didn't see for most of the game yesterday and haven't really had a chance to see so far yet today. Johnson with the fadeaway that falls short. But we did see it for a five minute stretch last night and we know that they are capable. As Weems finds Skalski with the lob attempt that doesn't go and Colorado Northwest is gonna return the other direction. This is Jepson with a three ball that misses off the back rim. Offensive rebound there by Kassarin. Looked like he tried to tap it, but didn't get a great touch on it. And the ball is going to be out of bounds, and it's going to be retained by Colorado Northwestern. Karstetter returns, and also Mason Mickelson comes back in. The 6'8 freshman from Pocatello, Idaho, with three fouls. And Coach Cruikshank is delivering dangerously here as he's letting Mickelson go out with three fouls. A little over five minutes to play here in the first half still as Jepson swings it over to Ballstead. Ballstead looks to attack and find Coles Johnson. Johnson tried to go behind his back on the baseline. Taryn Johnson deflects it away. The big man handles it and finally swings it over to Campbell. Campbell looks to make his move, always trying to get back to that left hand and misses the layup, and this is Cole Johnson with the defensive rebound. Campbell, a guy that can finish it with both hands but would prefer that left hand as that one was just unable to fall for him. Karstetter with the deflection there. And this is Christensen who goes up and under, and Christensen now with nine points. The leading scorer for Colorado Northwestern comes in, shooting it at 42% from the field, averages just over 17 points a game, and he has tied this thing up for the Spartans with just over four minutes to play here in the first half. This North Idaho offense looks a little stagnant right now. you got four guys standing around Karstetter. Karstetter thinks that he has a mismatch in the post, and he probably does. But Tyler Christensen working very hard in there. And as North Idaho is waiting to throw the ball inside to Karstetter, Karstetter gets called for an offensive foul for pushing off. A.J. Creech is going to check in now for Christensen, give Christensen a blow. I think it's a pretty common misconception that if a guy has a mismatch that he should go and just stand on the block and wait for the ball to get thrown to him. But I think a lot of good coaches will tell you that if you can't get a post touch out of your offense, then it's not worth it. And I think that was the case at last or right there. As Coach Krukshank now, Kruk, Coach Krukshank, who was living dangerously, has now lived a little too dangerously. And Mason Mickelson just picked up his fourth foul of the game for the Spartans. That is going to be tough to play without the 6'8 freshman for a little bit longer here. But we'll see. I didn't think that Coach Crookshank would bring him back in as early as he did, so I just, I just don't know anymore. Austin Johnson's got it in the corner here as he's looking to attack Cole Johnson. Cole Johnson picks his pocket and he's going to take it the other way for the Spartans. Creech looks to drive it to the baseline, he flips it up. Thought he got bumped there by Karstetter, but he gets the bucket to fall, and A.J. Creech now with six points, and Colorado Northwestern back in front for the first time since the three-minute mark, and that was very short-lived as Dante Sawyer the other way. He's got six points, and we're back even at 27. Both teams starting to get it going offensively a little bit. A.J. Creech is gonna fire a three ball, and he buries it. Great pass there by Mitch Jepson as Jepson's able to step through and avoid the charge. He finds A.J. Creech in the corner and Creech now with nine points for the Spartans as they're out to a three point lead. As I was saying, both teams starting to get it going offensively here. As it was a little bit of a slow start, Austin Johnson misses the layup. Cole Johnson with a defensive rebound for the Spartans. Kicks it ahead and a quick three ball by Ballstead misses long. And Austin Johnson with the defensive rebound. Cole Johnson went for the steal and missed 
Austin Johnson goes right to the rim and gets his sixth point of the game. This game's starting to play at a tempo that I think both teams would prefer to play at. Yesterday, things got slowed down a little bit on North Idaho, and they had a tough time with it. Both teams here want to play quick. They want to try to score the ball in a hurry, as this three ball by Ballstead is no good, and Austin Johnson with another defensive rebound. Outside of one team wanting to shoot more threes and one team wanting to shoot more twos, I think both teams want to play at a high tempo. Colorado Northwestern comes in averaging just over 80 points a game. North Idaho comes in averaging just over 90 points a game. Skalski goes one more and Karstetter catches and buries. A great one more pass by Jalen Skalski there. Skalski a capable shooter, but Karstetter a much better shooter as that one more pass finds Karstetter, hits him in his pocket, and he gets the three ball to put North Idaho back ahead by two. Minute and a half left to go here in the first half. As Kobe Campbell now feeds off of that three ball and hits one of his own. And just like that, the lead goes from a Colorado Northwest two-point lead to a North Idaho five-point lead. It's going to be a 30-second timeout, so we're going to stay right here with you. A minute 23 left to go here in this neutral site matchup. Leading the way for the Spartans of Colorado Northwest, Tyler Christensen and A.J. Creech with nine points apiece. Cole Johnson with three, Santiago Casarin with three, Jude Ballstead with three, and Mitch Jepson with three. On the other side of things for the Cardinals, Taron Johnson with two, Austin Johnson with six, Kobe Campbell with nine, Kyle Karstetter with seven, Tayshawn Colvin with one, Dante Sawyer with six, and Jalen Skalski with four. Double checking those numbers with the board, and I think they look pretty good as it's going to be Colorado Northwest basketball. A minute and a half left to go here from Sweet Erickson Gymnasium. Jepson, Johnson, Ballstead. Uh oh. A guy that I don't have on my stat sheet, and that is number 21, Jackson Parkinson. Jackson Parkinson is in as this is Cole Johnson who gets his two. And the lead is cut down to three in North Idaho's favor. Vaughn Weems gets doubled, kicks it over the top, and this is Campbell for a three ball, and it's pure. Kobe Campbell now with a couple of three balls in a row as he's starting to heat up. He's got 12 on the game, and it is a six-point lead in North Idaho's favor. Cole Johnson looks for a 15-footer, doesn't get a chance at it. Ballstead looks to drive it, and Ballstead's going to get called for an offensive foul. It's Ballstead's first foul. The team's 10-plus. Coach Cruikshank thinks that there should have been a flop action going on there. As he didn't think the contact was enough to make the defensive player, Austin Johnson, go flying the way it did. But the call gets made, and North Idaho will handle with just under 15 on the shot clock. About a six seconds difference between the shot clock and the game clock here as Kobe Campbell handles it at the top. Shot clock's down to five. Campbell was feeling it a little bit, hit a couple in a row, as this time it's Skalski, and just like that, Skalski gets a three ball, and the lead is ballooned to nine, as North Idaho has hit three three balls in a row. Cole Johnson fires a three ball, he misses it, and they're going to call a foul on Austin Johnson. Austin Johnson just picks up his third foul. Coach Simmons not happy with the call. I thought from my point of view, it looked like he had gotten the arm. But again, tough to tell from all the way over here. Cole Johnson's first free throw is up, and it is good. Cole Johnson at the line three times. Coach Simmons, again, not happy over there on the foul call. Second free throw by Johnson is no good.
and the third free throw by Johnson right before the half is good. Cole Johnson finishes the half with seven points, and we are heading towards halftime. We're going to take about a 10-minute break here on the network, and we will come back with stats and a preview of the second half here from Sweet Erickson Gymnasium, Casper College, North Idaho, with a 41-34 lead over Colorado Northwestern on the Casper College Network. Hey, Coach. So uh, I've been with you for a couple weeks. What's your philosophy on player development? Yeah, great question. I mean, it really boils down to two things, imagination and creativity. Casper College is a great place to start out your college journey. It's again, there's small class sizes. Um, there's really nice buildings and facilities. There's lots of variety of classes to choose from um, to start off. There's all kinds of things you can try. If you're not sure what you want to do like I was when I started, there's lots of things you can try from uh, lots of different foreign languages like Japanese or Russian or um, the typical things like business and English. And um, there's lots of really good health science stuff here. So it's a great place to get started. Um, and so I think people should give it a chance uh, rather than going off to college somewhere else. This is a great place locally um, to kind of dip your toe in the water, so to speak.
Welcome back, fans. Sweet Erickson Gymnasium on the beautiful campus at Casper College. Non-conference, or I'm sorry, a conference game, but not considered a conference game. Neutral site matchup between the Cardinals from North Idaho and the Spartans from Colorado Northwestern. North Idaho out to a 41 to 34 lead here. We got about two and a half minutes left of halftime, and we'll give you a quick rundown of the stats. First for the Spartans, nine points for AJ Creech, seven for Cole Johnson, three for Santiago Casarin. 9 for Tyler Christensen, 3 for Jude Balstead, and 3 for Mitch Jepson. On the other side for the Cardinals from North Idaho College, 12 from Kobe Campbell, including a couple of three balls. Kyle Karstetter with 7, 1 for Tayshawn Colvin, 2 for Taron Johnson, 6 for Austin Johnson, 6 for Dante Sawyer, and 7 for Jalen Skalski. The big key so far, a couple of big keys here, the 12 personal fouls called against Colorado Northwestern as they have a handful of guys who are in foul trouble. Mason Mickelson with four fouls. Santiago Casarin with three and two for Tyler Christensen and two for Cole Johnson. Also the three-point shooting we talked about at the start of the contest how Colorado Northwestern a team that shoots the sixth most, most amount of threes in the country. North Idaho a team that shoots it at under 30 percent from the three-point line but it's almost been flipped. Colorado Northwest shooting just four of 16 from the three-point line for 25 percent. North Idaho goes four for ten including hitting a couple there right before the halftime break. They shoot four of ten for 40 percent from the three-point line which has helped them out to this seven-point lead at halftime. The other big stat that sticks out to me, North Idaho wins the bench scoring 21-6. to Not surprising in the fact that Colorado Northwestern has only played two guys, well, three guys off of the bench so far. North Idaho getting a big contribution so far. Austin Johnson with six points off of the bench. And also um, Taron Johnson with two points off of the bench for the Cardinals as we are just about set to get underway in half number two here from Casper College. Colorado, or I'm sorry, North Idaho going to go the same way that they started with number three, Kobe Campbell, number five, Kyle Karstetter, 10, Tayshawn Colvin, 11, Dante Sawyer, and 24, Jalen Skalski. Skalski, a guy that came in, had 22 points last night, 24 in his last outing against Western Wyoming. Only seven points so far in the first half. Dante Sawyer, the team's leading scorer, comes in averaging just under 14 points a game, has only scored six points for the Cardinals. On the other side for the Spartans, A.J. Creech, Cole Johnson, Santiago Casarin, Tyler Christensen, and also Mason Mickelson with those four fouls out there to start the second half. Again, Coach Crookshank rolling the dice here, running Mickelson out there, hoping that he does not pick up that fifth foul and face disqualification. I think the one thing that bodes well for the Spartans here coming out into the second half is the fact that Mickelson didn't really play much in that first half, and they still were able to keep this thing to a seven-point game, even without the big fella in the middle. The big trend that we saw last night as well, Colorado Northwest came out and was outscored by Casper College by 21 points in the second half of the nightcap last night in that early game, as this is uh, Jalen Skalski who gets his two. In that earlier game, North Idaho was able to outscore Frank Phillips College by 19 points in the second half. So North Idaho was plus 19, Colorado Northwest minus 21. We'll see if that trend continues again today as this is Christensen who misses short. Skalski clears for the Cardinals and he's going to look to run as North Idaho looks to open this up into a double-digit lead. Sawyer with a great take, but the ball gets knocked out of bounds by Cole Johnson and it's going to be retained by the Cardinals. Just underway here in the second half, North Idaho with a nine-point advantage on Colorado Northwestern in this Region 18 matchup. Inbounds goes to Skalski as they look to throw it into Sawyer, and Sawyer with a great seal, and he's got two, he's got eight, the assist from Skalski. And just like that, we are into a double-digit game in favor of the Cardinals. Colorado Northwestern gonna have to find a way to score the basketball here. 
as Creech tries to go into some traffic and he gets the ball knocked away. They pass ahead to Colvin. Colvin catches, goes reverse, but misses the layup and Cole Johnson defensive rebounds for Colorado Northwestern. He's facing some traffic, but he's gonna go coast to coast. Felt like he got bumped, but he flipped it up and it's good as Cole Johnson now gets his first basket of the second half. Colorado Northwestern is gonna get a quick timeout here as Coach Crookshank saw Cole Johnson laying on the floor and didn't want uh, North Idaho to get a run out there. So he gives his guard a chance to get back up. Cole Johnson now with nine points on the game. Ties for the lead with A.J. Creech and Tyler Christensen on their side of the scorer's column. On the other side, leading the way, Kobe Campbell with 12 points, nine from Jalen Skalski, eight from Dante Sawyer, as each of those two guys have buckets so far here in the second half. Kyle Karstetter with seven of his own, Austin Johnson with six, Taryn Johnson with two, Tayshawn Colvin with one. Not quite two minutes into the second half here, North Idaho had opened the lead up to 11 at one point. It is now back down to nine, and it'll be North Idaho basketball going the long way. Campbell looks ahead, this is Karstetter with it on the wing and he goes dribble handoff with Skalski. Back around to Campbell. Campbell again with that great shot fake as he drives it in uncontested and he gets another layup. He's got 14 on the game now for the Cardinals. And again, you have to respect the three ball. He had a couple of threes early in that first half to get himself going. He had a tough time shooting it last night, but made a couple so far in the, in the first half. And then on the shot fake, you have to bite, you have to contest, you have to, to, to respect that three ball, and he's able to shot fake and just walk right around and into the lane for a bucket. Skalski looks to give a shot fake, nothing going there as he hands off with Sawyer, and now into Skalski in the post. Mickelson gotta be careful here defensively as he's got four fouls, the swing gets kicked back out. Three ball by Karstetter is no good, defensive rebound by Cole Johnson and the Spartans are gonna to look to cut this thing back to a single digit disadvantage. Johnson with the floater in the lane and it's good and Cole Johnson now into double figures as he's got 11, including four so far in the second half and cuts the North Idaho lead back down to nine. Colvin with the tough drive, gets to his right hand, and he gets a bucket. Tayshawn Colvin with a tough take there, wasn't really sure where he was gonna go with that thing. It almost looked like the ball got deflected off of the backboard and in. As Santiago Caceran gets three of his own, and you gotta think that that's the way that the Spartans are gonna be able to battle back into this thing is with that three ball. As Colvin drives it again and misses. If Colorado Northwestern will be patient and look and get a good look from three, they're very capable of knocking down three-point shots, especially with ball movement, as Jude Ballstead checks back in for Christensen. Get a couple of three balls to fall, and that eight-point disadvantage that they face right now can be cut back into very quickly here. Caceran's gonna fire another one, and this one is good again. And right on cue, Santiago Caceran has back-to-back -back threes, and the lead is now cut down to five. Two possessions, the three-point ball makes such a big difference in this game. Colvin fires a three ball, and it's short. Karstetter does a great job and deflects it off of Mickelson. It's gonna stay with the Cardinals. But again, you know, you look at three possessions, two offensive and one defensive for Colorado Northwestern. They get a three, they get a stop, and they get another three. And just like that, 11 points turns into five points. And that's the style of play that Colorado Northwestern prefers. And it's a, it's a style that a lot of teams nowadays are starting to move towards. As Karstetter goes up and he's followed by Kassarin. And Kassarin, after hitting back-to-back -back threes, is now gonna look like he's gonna come to the bench as he just picked up his fourth foul. Kyle Karstetter heading to the free throw line. He's got seven points on the game. First one's good for Karstetter as uh, Mitch Jepson returns for the Spartans. Karstetter, the six foot seven inch sophomore from Moses Lake, Washington, just averages 3.6 points a game. He's got eight so far today. And misses that one, but Jalen Skalski with the rebound and the putback, and just like that, Skalski now in double figures. Fall's gonna go on Mitch Jepson, it's gonna be his first. 
Coach Cruikshank complaining about something being illegal, and I'm not exactly sure what he was looking at or what he wanted or, or thought was illegal there. But Skalski with the offensive rebound put back, and he gets the free throw to go. As now Skalski has 12 points on the game, and the lead back up to nine in North Idaho's favor. All that three-point shot worked for not so far for the Spartans here as they give up four points on that previous possession. This is A.J. Creech with it in the corner. The shot clock hits 10. Creech wants to drive it as he gets to the left hand, flips it up with the right, it's no good, and Kobe Campbell with the return. And Sawyer, just like that, Sawyer gets two more for himself as now he's in double figures, and we've got a foul. Ball's on 20, Jepson, it's gonna be his second, the team's third so far of the second half. And again, the, the lead has ballooned to double figures in North Idaho's favor. Dante Sawyer comes in averaging 13.6 points a game, the six foot five inch guard from San Francisco. Leading scorer for these Cardinals as the free throw is up and good. He's got 11 on the game, and it is the biggest advantage in the Cardinals' favor as they are now up by 12. Nicholson wants to go dribble handoff with Cole Johnson. As Cole Johnson flips it up and it's short. Rebound to Carstetter and the Cardinals are going to try to get out and run again. Campbell with that quickness. It doesn't look terribly quick and then all of a sudden he just blows by and Kobe Campbell now with 16 points in what I would say is his best game that he's played in the four opportunities that he's had here at Casper College. Great bounce pass there from Creech, and Mickelson comes up short with the layup as Sawyer defensive rebounds. The Cardinals come back, and Skalski ahead this time, and now Skalski misses the layup, tips it back in himself on a great pass by Sawyer to lead the way. Skalski now with 14, and just like that, it's up to 16 now. And Colorado Northwestern's got to find a way to get a bucket here. Tyler Christensen on the bench. He's at the scorer's table looking to check in the leading scorer for the Spartans. Creech spins back to his left and gets a much needed basket for Colorado Northwestern. He's now in double figures with 11 and cuts that lead to 14, but more importantly, starts to tide some of that momentum that North Idaho had built in offensively. And Austin Johnson picks up his fourth foul on that offensive foul call right there. Johnson looks like he's been trying to do just a little bit too much in this one as Vaughn Weems is going to replace him. Coach Simmons trying to explain to him to be, be patient, let the game tump to him. Austin Johnson, a very, very good basketball player, comes in with 18 points last night. Very capable offensively and just has had a tough time getting it going as Dante Sawyer is going to pick up a tic-tac foul 30 feet from the rim. Jude Ballstead's gonna trigger here for the Spartans as he inbounds it to Taylor, Tyler Christensen. And they're into their offense. This is Jepson who fires the three ball. Mickelson gotta be careful in there as he gets an offensive rebound put back that doesn't go. Ball bounces around, Skalski saves it in and it's gonna be Sawyer coming the other direction. Sawyer kind of faked like he was gonna go behind the back and then kept it himself, drove it to the rim and he's gonna be fouled by Tyler Christensen. And now Christensen with three fouls, team's fourth. And it's gonna head, send Dante Sawyer to the free throw line when we come back from this media timeout. 13.42 left in the second half. North Idaho with a 60 to 46 lead here on the Casper College Network. I chose Casper College because it's my hometown and it always been like a goal of mine to come here first and then maybe go on but I chose I actually liked it here a lot better so I decided to stay here. I like the like community here like how they uh, do these things like the barbecues and everything I think that's really cool how they try to get the students and everyone together it's affordable for a lot of students even out-of-state students and also like it's like, like I said earlier, the community, like, it's really good and they, they try to help you in any way that they can here. And I know like bigger universities don't care as much 
and I think Casper College is perfect. I don't know, feels like home. Welcome back, fans. Sweet Erickson Gymnasium on the beautiful campus at Casper College. 13.42 left to go here in the second half. North Idaho has opened up a 14-point lead on Colorado Northwestern. And we're going to have Dante Sawyer at the free throw line for the Cardinals shooting a pair. Sawyer, the 6'5-inch sophomore from California, shoots it at 83% from the free throw line. As his first free throw attempt is up and good. Sawyer now with 12 points on the game getting closer to that average of 13.6 on the season. Second free throw from Sawyer is also good as he's now got 13 and the lead has opened up to 16 for the second time so far today. Mickelson with it at the top. This is Christensen now on the wing as it gets swung around, Mickelson's got it. And back to Ballstead. Cole Johnson looking to get something going. He thought about a three ball, but Karstetter right there to jump that as the shot clock down to 10. Jepson spins back to his left hand, misses it, but Mickelson there with his offensive rebound put back, and now he is on the scorer's column as he's got two points for the Spartans and a much needed offensive rebound put back to cut this lead down to 14. Colorado Northwestern gonna have to find a way to string some stops together here. Offensively, they've, they've gotten baskets when they needed to, but they just can't get stops on the defensive end and they can't stop fouling as Dante Sawyer is going to head to the free throw line for two more. Foul's going to go on Jepson, his third foul, team's fifth. And as Sawyer heads to the free throw line, we look back, Kassarin with four fouls, Mickelson with four fouls, Jepson with three, Christensen with three. As the first free throw is up and good for Sawyer. And Kassarin is going to check back in with his four fouls as he's going to replace Mickelson. And Colorado Northwestern are going to go a little bit smaller, maybe look to try to fire up a couple more three balls to try to get their way back into this thing. Second free throw from Sawyer is good. He's got 15 points on the game. Sawyer hit all four of his free throw attempts in the first half. He has hit one, two, three, four, five, six free throws in the second half. So he's got 10 points from the free throw line as Jude Ballstead fires a three ball and he's got it and he's got six on the game to cut the lead down to 13. Skalski looks for it in the post here. They're not gonna run a double there. He spins to his left shoulder and makes a great move there and Jalen Skalski now with 16 points of his own. Skalski the lefty I think would prefer to turn to his right shoulder this North Idaho team has an odd amount of left-handed players between Campbell, Skalski, Taron Johnson, Vaughn Weems, all left-handed guys. I don't know if uh, that's something that Coach Simmons goes out and recruits as Tyler Christensen buries a three ball and he's got 12 on the game. But an odd number of left-handed players. You see one, maybe two guys on a roster that are left-handed. This team with five all in the rotation that prefer the left hand as this is Weems here in the left and he's got it. Vaughn Weems with his first basket of the game and the lead back to 14 in North Idaho's favor. Christensen finds Johnson in the corner. Johnson thought about it and back up to Christensen. So he was looking for a ball screen but it gets swung around and now it's Jepson. Jepson's stuck now. The defensive effort from North Idaho has certainly increased here as this is Kassarin who turns and misses and North Idaho with the rebound. You can see the adjustment that North Idaho has made there as they have really pressed out on the three-point line and not so much worried about the dribble drive as this is Ballstead who gets his basket and he's got eight. There's the lob. Sawyer got the dunk to go wasn't as impressive as I think everybody wanted it to be, but he did make the ball go in the basket worth two points. Johnson misses the layup there. Coach Crookshank not happy. Thought that Cole Johnson got bumped there. No call. As Campbell tries to dribble into traffic, and then they're going to get a call on the other end. Coach Crookshank not very happy 
with the way things are going right now as we're going to have a foul on 22, I believe. It is going to be on 22, Tyler Christensen. It's going to be Christensen's fourth. And we are going to get a couple of substitutions. A.J. Creech is going to check back in. Uh, Mickelson's going to check back in as well for the Spartans as it's going to be North Idaho basketball underneath. And Austin Johnson will inbound it for the Cardinals. I did a little research at halftime just to make sure Austin Johnson, Taryn Johnson from North Idaho, as well as Cole Johnson from Colorado Northwest, no relation. As, as uncommon as those last names are of Johnson, I did recognize Austin Johnson from Oakland, California, Taryn Johnson from Grand Prairie, Texas, and Cole Johnson from Kaysville, Utah. Those three guys are not related. Just for anybody out there that was questioning the fact that I keep using the last name Johnson as there are three of them on the floor right now between the two teams. As this is Austin Johnson right on cue, gets his first basket of the second half and has opened the lead back up to 16 in the Cardinals' favor. A.J. Creech with a great shot fake on the block. He finds Mickelson. Mickelson gets a little bit of a running start there and goes and gets a layup as Mason Mickelson now has four points and cuts the lead to 14. Mickelson, the 6'8 freshman from Pocatello, Idaho, getting it going a little bit here in the second half as he missed a big chunk of the first half with foul trouble. Campbell's gonna fire a deep three ball and this one is good. Kobe Campbell with 19 off of the assist from Taron Johnson there and the lead now 17, the largest of the game for the Cardinals. Creech's shot gets blocked there by Campbell as Campbell's gonna run the other way and now Austin Johnson looking to attack. Johnson was gonna try to dump it off to Taron Johnson and the ball gets deflected and turned over. It's Colorado Northwest heading the other direction. Mickelson looks to spin to his right shoulder, gets it up with the left hand, and now Mason Mickelson with another basket as he's got six, and Coach Crookshank wants another timeout. We're going to have a full timeout here from Sweet Erickson Gymnasium, 9-11 left to go in the second half. North Idaho with a 75-60 to lead over Colorado Northwestern on the Casper College Network. Casper College is a great place to start out your college journey. It's, again, there's small class sizes. Um, there's really nice buildings and facilities. There's lots of variety of classes to choose from. Um, to start off, there's all kinds of things you can try. If you're not sure what you want to do like I was when I started, there's lots of things you can try from uh, lots of different foreign languages like Japanese or Russian or um, the typical things like business and English. And um, there's lots of really good health science stuff here. So it's a great place to get started um, and so I think people should give it a chance uh, rather than going off to college somewhere else this is a great place locally um, to kind of dip your toe in the water so to speak. Welcome back Welcome back, Sweet Erickson Gymnasium here on the beautiful campus of Casper College. North Idaho with a 75-60 to 60 lead, just over nine minutes to go here in the second half. For the Cardinals so far, Dante Sawyer 17 points, Kobe Campbell 19 points, Jalen Skalski with 16 points leading the way for them. On the other side, 12 points for Tyler Christensen, 11 for Cole Johnson, and 11 for A.J. Creech. Austin Johnson swings it back to Taron Johnson. Taron getting to that left hand, and he goes up strong. Pretty good job defensively there by Mickelson, and the rebound goes to Ballstead of the Spartans. I don't know for a fact, but I got to assume if I was down in Coach Crookshank's huddle there, I think his focus has got to be on cutting this thing down to single digits. Right now it's been about 15. It's cut down to 12, but they haven't had a chance to get it back down to single digits really since the half has started. And I'd be curious to see if that's kind of the message of, let's see if we can't get a little bit of a run here, get it down to single digits, and get some momentum heading in our direction. As Mitch Jepson going to check back in for Colorado Northwestern, as well as Dante Sawyer for the Cardinals. Well, here's an opportunity to, to cut into that lead here for Colorado Northwestern. They trail by 15. 
Cole Johnson going to use a ball screen from Mickelson to his left and goes with a little bit of a floater. Misses it short, but offensive rebound. Mitch Jepson fires a three ball, but it is well short in an air ball, and it'll head to North Idaho. you got to wonder, too, if some of this is going to be a little bit of fatigue from the Spartans here as they, again, are playing with really only seven players in this game. Back-to-back -back games. They played the late game last night, which tipped at 7.30, finished about 9.30 last night. Vaughn Weems with an absolute hammer there and opens the lead up to 17. Again, Colorado Northwest, they played in that late game last night, a game that really was, was up and down for a good chunk of the game. Ball's going to go on Dante Sawyer. It's going to be his third and the team's third. But Casper College, a team that likes to press, can really take a toll on a team as Cole Johnson flips it up over the backboard, and it's no good. But you faced that press last night. You faced, faced that 40 minutes of, of pressure in your face defense for that long a time. And then you sleep in a hotel bed and you're back up and playing again at 2 o'clock the next day. Can certainly take a toll on your team as Coach Simmons caught it on the wing there. We thought he was going to fire the three ball. And the way that his Cardinals have been shooting it tonight, he's probably going to make it as well. Unfortunately, a turnover for the Cardinals and it's going to head back to North Idaho 77-60. to 60. Seven and a half minutes to play here in the second half from Sweet Erickson Gymnasium. Good take there by Ballstead, but just misses Long and Vaughn Weems on the defensive rebound. Weems looks to attack it as Austin Johnson catches. Had Taron Johnson in the post there, but chose not to. As Sawyer's going to dribble it down on the wing, and now Sawyer's going to make his move. Finds Johnson. Johnson to that left hand. Thought about going reverse. Instead finds Austin Johnson who has a wide open left handed layup and Austin Johnson's in double figures now with 10. 19 the lead now the largest of the game. Cole Johnson goes with the left hand and Mickelson actually looked like he knocked it out of two Cardinals hands and the ball just happened to flip into the basket and Mason Mickelson now with eight points on the game for the Spartans. All eight of those points coming in the second half. All eight of those points coming with those four fouls that he picked up in the first half. Austin Johnson, a tough runner that's no good, and Skalski with the defensive rebound. This Cardinal team just has a lot of guys who play up around or above the rim, and when a shot goes up, you just never know who's going to be there to grab a rebound. As Skalski grabbed that one, takes what was probably an ill-advised three-point shot, and the Spartans are coming the other way with A.J. Creech. As he flips it up, Taron Johnson got a piece of it, but Creech able to finish it, and he is the leading scorer right now for the Spartans with 13. Spartans got to put a string a couple of stops here together. As this pass goes into Sawyer, Sawyer with the fadeaway jump shot misses just a touch long. Weems got a piece of it, but misses the putback, and Mitch Jepson rebounds for the Spartans. So you look at now a couple of stops in a row for the Spartans there defensively. And Mickelson is going to pick up his fifth foul as Vaughn Weems might as well have built a tent and camped out right there underneath him. And Mickelson is going to be disqualified from the contest with his fifth foul. We're going to head to a media timeout here. Five minutes and 45 seconds left here from Casper College. North Idaho with a 79-64 to lead on the Casper College network. We have a really competitive group this year. Sometimes a little too competitive. And there's this guy on our team, Ethan. He takes it a little too far but he never loses. Ready, go! Ow. I do this. I ain't never lost. I ain't never lost. I do this. It don't even matter what that is. I got game right here. You know what In this game. Tell him he missed too. In that game. I do this. I ain't never lost. Ball. I never lost. I never lost. I never lost. I never lost. Welcome back, fans. Sweet Erickson Gymnasium, the home of the Casper College Thunderbirds, with five minutes and 45 seconds to go here in the second half. North Idaho with a 79 to 64 lead over Colorado Northwest. Fans, remember, stick around. Game two of today's competition between Casper College and Frank Phillip College scheduled to start here at 4 o'clock. Jack Noakes will have the call for that one. 
as that'll start here in about a half an hour or approximately 20 minutes after the conclusion of this game. Kobe Campbell, Tyshawn Colvin on the floor. A new sub for North Idaho has checked in. Number four, DeAndre Claremont. Claremont, a 6'8 freshman from Fort Myers, Florida. Comes in averaging just 1.2 points per game. As Skalski fumbled it, gets it back, flips it up with the left hand, and it is good and the foul. Jalen Skalski with 18 points on the game. Foul's going to go on 22. Tyler Christensen, which is going to be his fifth. And Christensen now will join Mickelson as he has been disqualified from the game with his fifth foul as well. Coach Cruikshank going to have 30 seconds to replace Christensen. And it's going to be A.J. Creech that's going to replace him. Skulski at the free throw line with an opportunity to add to his point total of 18 so far on the evening. His second free throw, or his, I'm sorry, his only free throw is good. He's got 19 points on the game and ties Kobe Campbell for the game lead in scoring. Kassarin with a great shot fake and he drives it and they're going to get a foul on DeAndre Claremont. On a great take there by Kassarin. Claremont picks up his first foul. It's going to be the fourth team foul and Kassarin at the free throw line for uh, Colorado Northwestern. First free throw is up and good for Kassarin as he's now in double figures with 10. Kassarin comes in shooting 50% from the free throw line, the six foot six inch freshman from Argentina. That's his second free throw is also good and he's got 11 on the game. 16 point advantage for the Cardinals from North Idaho out of Coeur d'Alene, a team that has won three of their three competitions that they played so far here at Casper College and are well on their way to winning number four here as well. Campbell back to Skalski. Skalski with a little shot fake, swings it over to Karstetter. Karstetter wanted to use the screen, finds Campbell on the back cut, back to Skalski. He's gonna fire the three ball and it's good. Jalen Skalski now with 22 as he's a guy that averages 10 points a game, went for 22 last night, 22 again tonight. I gotta think that that average is going to increase significantly after this weekend's games get added into the NJCAA website as Cole Johnson gets two more and ties A.J. Creech with 13 points in the lead for the Spartan side. Coach Simmons is gonna call a quick 30 second timeout. See if maybe he wants to draw something up here or maybe he wants to get a couple of subs in as he does still have a couple of starters on the floor, but it looks like there's nobody at the scorer's table. Maybe he wants to try to run a set here, something new that maybe we haven't had an opportunity to see yet. We'll run through the scores here as a quick 30-second timeout. First for Colorado Northwestern, A.J. Creech leading the way with Cole Johnson, each with 13 points. Santiago Casarin with 11, Tyler Christensen with 12. Mason Mickelson and Jude Ballstead with eight apiece. Mitch Jepson with three of his own. On the other side, for the Cardinals from North Idaho. Two from Taryn Johnson, 10 from Austin Johnson, four from Vaughn Weems, 19 from Kobe Campbell, eight from Kyle Karstetter, three from Tayshawn Colvin, 17 from Dante Sawyer, 22 from Jalen Skalski. As Karstetter is going to enter, he flips it into the backcourt, and it's Kobe Campbell who catches it. Cole Johnson went for a steal. Instead, it's going to be Colvin for a three ball. It's no good. Karstetter crashed hard. Ball goes to Creech, but bounces around and comes back to Colvin. Karstetter is going to fire a three ball. It's short, and Skalski with an offensive rebound. Put back that's no good. Claremont goes up and after it. The ball gets deflected off of him, and it's going to be Spartan basketball. If there was a set that was supposed to come out of that from the Cardinals, I certainly didn't see it. Once Cole Johnson attacked that and tried to get that steal in the backcourt, it just ended up being a, a uh, Tayshawn Colvin wide open three point shot that didn't fall. As this is Jude Ballstead who gets a three ball and he now is in double figures with 11 for the six foot two inch freshman guard from Midway, Utah. Jalen Skalski with it, Karstetter and now to Campbell on the wing. 
Campbell's going to ISO, spins back to his left hand, looks to kick it back out. Karstetter's going to fire a three ball. Misses just a little bit short, and Cole Johnson with a defensive rebound after a great, great block out there by A.J. Creech. Johnson fires the three ball. It's no good, and we're going to get a defensive foul that's going to go against Mitch Jepson on the rebound. Dante Sawyer going to check back in for Colvin. I believe Campbell's going to be the guy that's going to head to the free throw line with a 14-point advantage. 3.15, 3.18 left to go here in the second half. Campbell with 19 points on the game so far, a 69% free throw shooting. That one falls to make it an even 20 for him. Twenty-two fouls so far called against the Spartans as the second free throw is also good for Campbell as he's got 21. Four, five, six, eight, nine, twelve against the Cardinals from North Idaho. Again, a lot of that has to do with the style of basketball that gets played here. The Spartans from Colorado Northwestern, they want to shoot a lot of three-point three, three point shots. They don't do a whole lot of driving to the basket. They're going to look to fire those three balls like Kasarian just did there. Jepson with a defensive rebound and put back. That is good. On the other side, Colorado Northwestern, a team that really wants to attack the rim. They try to throw the ball into the post. They try to drive the ball to the basket. And inherently, there's just going to be more fouls called in that direction. As Claremont with a basket. It's his first basket of the game. DeAndre Claremont, the six foot eight inch freshman from Fort Myers, Florida, came in averaging just 1.2 points per game. Creech kicks it back out. This is Kassarin who fires a three ball, and it is good off of a great pass from Creech. Kassarin's got 14 points now as he leads all scorers for Colorado Northwestern. And on the lob pass to Skalski there, we're going to get another foul. This foul is going to go against Jepson, and it's going to be Jepson's fifth foul. Jepson now disqualified from the game as well as Jepson picked up all five of those fouls in the second half. And Mr. Roosevelt Brown's going to start the 30-second clock to get a replacement in for Jepson. Jackson, that replacement going to be number 21, Jackson Parkinson. Parkinson. Parkinson checked in for just a brief minute in the first half and will now play the last two minutes and 19 seconds of the second half in a 13-point game. Skalski's free throw misses short. Skolski with 22 tonight, 22 last night. Kobe Campbell with 21 tonight. And we're going to get a, another quick 30-second timeout from Coach Simmons to talk about maybe what they want to do on the defensive end of the floor in a 13-point game. I guess it's going to go to a full timeout. So we're going to take a quick break here from Casper College. 89-76 North Idaho with the lead over Colorado Northwest on the Casper College Network. Hey, Casper College, we can't miss. Hold on, mate. I can do better. All right, show me. Welcome back, fans. Sweet Erickson Gymnasium in Casper, Wyoming. North Idaho with an 89-76 lead in this neutral site competition against Colorado Northwestern. Jalen Skalski for the Cardinals headed to the free throw line to shoot two shots. As we are going to wait, I believe that was just the first horn. There is the second horn, and now Skalski going to shoot his free throws. Sorry, just one free throw. Free throw is up, and it is good for Skalski. He's got 23 on the night to finish the end one. And Cole Johnson with the ball as they run a little horn set there for Ballstead for a three ball. He misses it short. Skalski with a defensive rebound. Looked ahead to towards Karstetter. 
instead decides to slow it back. Austin Johnson back to Skalski for three, misses. And A.J. Creech now heading the other direction. Creech is going coast to coast. Left-handed layup is no good. The rebound goes to Austin Johnson with just under two minutes left to go here in this contest. They're looking in at Claremont. Claremont's the guy that came in off the bench, hasn't played a whole lot of minutes. He catches here, shoots a little 15-footer, misses off the back heel, and Cole Johnson rebounds for Colorado Northwestern. Johnson looks ahead at Parkinson and back to Creech now. Creech is going to use a ball screen. Had Kasarian on the, on the pick and pop there. Instead finds Cole Johnson in the middle. Johnson flips it up. It's no good. Skalski with the defensive rebound and outlets to Austin Johnson. Back to Skalski, and Skalski's going to drop the hammer, and that's going to pretty much put this thing to bed. Jalen Skalski, 25 points tonight, 22 points last night. Came in averaging 9.9 .9 points per game on the season. Certainly increased that average over this weekend as Cole Johnson gets a layup, and he's got 15 points for the Spartans. Under a minute left to play here. As again, it looks like North Idaho going to maybe try to draw something up for DeAndre Claremont here. Austin Johnson handles it as the shot clock gets under 15. Johnson looks to drive it to the left. He's going to scoop it with the left. It's no good. Parkinson with the defensive rebound. He outlets to Cole Johnson. And Ballstead catches it as he's going to go reverse, and he gets the layup. Jude Ballstead with 13 points now for the Spartans as the shot clock is now off, and we're going to let this thing tick away here. North Idaho is going to come away with a 92-80 victory in this neutral site contest between these two Region 18 foes. We're going to do a quick rundown of the numbers here before we go away, and then we're going to send it over to Jack Noakes, who is going to be on the call for the Game 2 Casper College versus Frank Phillips College. First for the Spartans from Colorado Northwestern. 13 points from A.J. Creech, 15 points from Cole Johnson, 14 from Santiago Casarin, 8 from Mason Mickelson, 13 from Jude Volstead, 5 from Mitch Jepson, and 12 from Tyler Christensen. On the other side for the victorious North Idaho Cardinals, Taron Johnson just 2 points tonight, Austin Johnson with 10 of his own, Vaughn Weems with 4, Kobe Campbell 21, DeAndre Claremont with 2, Kyle Karstetter with 8, Tayshawn Colvin with three, Dante Sawyer with 17, and Jalen Skalski leads all scorers with 25 for the Cardinals. Fans, remember, stick around here in about 15 minutes. We will be back. Jack Noakes will be on the call for Casper College Thunderbird basketball against the Frank Phillips College Plainsmen. Thanks for joining us for game one. Remember, stick around for game two. So one of the main reasons I chose Casper College is I'm from Casper, born and raised, and it's great that we have this community college here that is it's ranked pretty high among community colleges. So I'm a non-traditional student and I was a little bit nervous to come back to college, I guess. My major while I was a CC student was psychology and I also got to be the president of the psychology club. I just had so many opportunities for leadership and personal growth. And I've just been so thankful. I really never imagined all of the opportunities that I would have had here. 